Hello and welcome to the World of Maps. I'm Bruce Jones, the creator of the World of Maps collection of editable royalty-free maps for PowerPoint and Illustrator. Our maps are great for uh, presenting sales and marketing presentations, for doing graphic design, illustrations, websites, all kinds of things. So we get asked all kinds of questions and this short video is going to sort of take us through uh, the basic questions that we get asked and just show you quickly uh, what you can do with our maps. Our maps are pretty good. They're very easy to customize. Um, our maps are completely editable and what that means is that all the objects in our map are individual. So you can color them, take them out, uh, move them around, delete them, whatever you want to do. So first thing we're going to do is let's just do a quick coloring of one of our basic maps. It's a basic USA map. I'm going to just drag with my pointer all the way around the map. I could also just click on them with the, uh, with the mouse button uh, pointer here and uh, do them individually, but this is a lot faster to do it this way. And I'm just going to give it a basic color. So I'm just going to make it yellow. And what I'm going to do is just color one half of this map to show you how easily it is. I can hold down my shift key and just click on each state and give it, have them all selected. And then I'm just going to pick a color. Let's just pick the color blue and we very easily have colored the western half of the United States. Now often people ask us about setting up sales territory. So this is a great way to do that. So what I'm going to do is just take and copy this map. Like so, and we're going to go to our next slide. Paste it on the slide. See how easy it is just to paste between slides very easily. It can be very easily done. And I'm now going to just select the other half of the United States with my pointer. And we're going to make that yellow. So now what we've done, let's make Colorado blue. So we have that back on the right side. You can see, you can quickly change. If you do something wrong, you can quickly add and um, make a change. So now we basically have set up a territory map of the United States with the western half blue and the eastern half in yellow. People always want to add text to hi highlight who has what territory. So again, we're going to copy this map. We're going to go to a new slide. Here we go. We'll add text. I'm going to go to my drawing toolbar and I have a text box right here. And I usually just like to go into the ocean somewhere out here and I'm just going to type Bill. And I can move that block of text around just by grabbing the outer edge of it. That'll be Bill's territory. I'm going to duplicate it and we'll make this Mary's territory over here. And we've now highlighted each person for their territories. I can even add a line if I wanted to. And we'll just do a little line from the line tool. And we'll do it again for Mary. And we'll put her in, uh, she's based in Washington, D.C. I can also move that line. You can see very easily, just grab the end of it. So adding a star, very common thing. People want to add a little indicator of where the office is. So again, I'm going to just copy that. Put it on a new slide, and in my drawing toolbar, there's a whole slew of little and different kinds of shapes. These are really cool. You have all kinds of stuff in here. They're right here in the center of this drawing toolbar. We have stars, flow charts, arrows, callouts, all kinds of stuff. So let's grab the star. I get that little cross. Hold down my shift key to keep it proportional. I'm going to go to my pull down color fill bucket, make it red. Put a star right here. So there's Bill's headquarters. I'm going to duplicate it and we'll put Mary over here in Washington, D.C. Move that up. And we have now added stars for each of the areas. So, very, very easy to do. To add any of those shapes that you want, you can make them any size that you want. Build a key. People need to do, know who has what. And um, on this map, it's pretty simple. But if you had a lot of them on here, it might be a little more difficult. And adding a key is very simple. I'm going to go again to my drawing toolbar, and I'm going to get a rectangle. And I'm just going to hold the shift key. We'll keep it square. I can duplicate that. So I have two of them. Move it up a little bit. I can take Bill's name here, duplicate it move it right over here next to that box, come down, type Mary, 
line things up. I'm going to bring my boxes up. Mary's going to be yellow. So we make her yellow. And Bill is going to be blue. We make him blue. And there you have. Here's a key. You can put that anywhere you want. Uh, what might be an easy thing to do is you can group it together right here. And then you can easily put it wherever that you need. So, One of the things that I tell people to do that that in when you're working with maps, they can get complicated because you have a lot of pieces, is that it's sometimes easier to delete than it is to um, add or take, keep what you want. So let's just work with the western part of the United States. I'm just going to delete all of this stuff. And the, our maps are very easy. These are just PowerPoint objects. And I can just select around them and hit my delete key. You notice I can do these individually, or I can go all the way around them with my um, pointer and just in the little dotted lines and just select everything and I can just go through here and very quickly delete everything. I'm going to take off Bill and I'm going to take off that line but I'm going to leave the star. So now what I can do is take all of this, this is the western half of the United States and I advise always to group things. It makes it a whole lot easier when you're working with maps and we can put that right in the center like so. And There you go. Easy to delete. Um, and easy to add items. Looks a little small there, so let's put it on a new slide and we are going to enlarge or reduce it. Once it's been grouped, very easy to enlarge and reduce. So I have all these objects, I group them together, I can take my pointer right here, put it over one of the corner handles, if I hold down the shift key on my keyboard, it'll help it stay proportional and notice how quickly I can just enlarge it to make it fill the space. I can also make it smaller too. I can do any, either I want. So let's just go back up here, we'll make it large, and there you have it. Oops. Ready to go for your presentation. So today we have covered coloring, territories, adding text, adding a star, building a key, deleting, and enlarging or reducing. So, so thank you for joining us today. This is at the World of Maps, your home for editable clip art maps that are great for PowerPoint presentations or Adobe Illustrator presentations, for sales and marketing, graphic design, uh, education uses, websites. Uh, they're royalty free. You can download them immediately to your hard drive. Um, we have them at two sites, bjdesign.com. This is our subscription site. You can get access to everything that we have for one price. Or if you only need a couple of maps, our Maps for Design site is fabulous. So thank you for joining us and uh, see you next time. Bye-bye.